Plume is a development tool which allows you to write computer programs which deploy cloud resources, a practice referred to as infrastructure as code. In this video, we are going to closely see and understand how Plume works and what Plume is. Let's get started. So I'm going to start this video with what exactly Plume is. It's a development tool that allows you to write computer programs which can deploy resources, which is essentially called infrastructure as code. What is infrastructure as code and why do you need infrastructure as code? Sometimes you want to write code and you want your code to basically spin up an instance or maybe create some resources on the cloud, create a VPC, create a VPS. And we want this so that we have the blueprint of creating such resources at our disposal. So Pulumi helps us do that. And why Pulumi? Why do we need Pulumi? What is special about Pulumi? Pulumi is basically great because Pulumi helps you write code in the language of your choice. It has JavaScript, it has Java and a lot of other supported languages like Python. And you are going to love it because let us say you are a Python developer and you only know how to write Python programs. You can use Pulumi and you can use your Python skills to deploy resources on the cloud. So I'm going to log into my Linode account, linode.com. If you haven't created a Linode account yet, you can use the link in the description and you are going to get $100 60 day credit and make sure you sign up so that you are able to use Linode for essentially for free for the next 60 days. And if you like it, you can uh, absolutely set up a billing and continue. So let's get started with Pulumi. I'm going to, uh, you know, create a very quick Debian Linode. I'm going to use Debian 11 and let us choose the region is Chennai because I'm near Chennai. If you are near US or maybe near UK, you can uh, choose the, you know, location as per your current location. Now I'm going to use a Nanode 1GB because Nanode 1GB works pretty great. And let me choose a password. So this is my password and let's click on create Linode. So basically I've created a Debian Linode, which is a VPS and I'm going to deploy Pulumi on this machine. You can also use Pulumi from your local machine, but I'm going to use this one and I'm going to show you how to deploy resources on this Linode account. So basically what we are going to do is give Pulumi access to this Linode account using a Linode token. So what happens is Pulumi has control over my Linode account. And once Pulumi has control over my Linode account, it can essentially create resources, create a VPS, create a say object storage, whatever I want. Okay, I'm going to show you a very quick demo using this guide. And uh, the very first thing that I'm going to do is log into my instance. Okay, so I'm going to simply log into this machine and uh, obviously you want this machine to get provision first. So I'm going to wait for it to provision. Yes, it is provision. I'm going to enter my password, the same password which I've chosen. Now the very first step is to install Pulumi. So let's copy this command and let's paste it here to install Pulumi. And yes, I'm able to install Pulumi. It is taking some time and once Pulumi is installed, you want to add it to the path. So in order to add it to the path, you are going to use this, this, this particular folder. Okay. So, uh, if I paste it like this, I will have to say slash root slash Pulumi. So basically what I want is I want to add Pulumi to path so that whenever I type Pulumi, I should be able to access Pulumi. Okay. So that's why I did this now. The next thing that I want to do is I'm going to copy this script and I'm going to paste it like this. And uh, the next thing that I want to do is copy this script and I want to make a change to this script. And the change is that instead of saying 12.x, I want to say 20.x because Node.js is now upgraded to 20 point something. And uh, let's wait for this script to run. And once this is run, I am going to copy this command and execute it. So let's wait for some time because Node.js is installing and Pulumi requires this. So let's wait for Node.js to install. You can always install Node.js from alternative methods, but this method of installing Node.js from nodesource.com is really great. Uh, so it is asking me to wait for 60 seconds. I'm going to wait and I'll be back once this is finished. And yes, it is almost done. 
All right, so it is installing some packages. And yes, it is now asking me to install Node.js by running this. So let's copy this, let's paste it here and Node.js will be installed. And once Node.js is installed, all I need to do is log into my Pulumi account, which you might not have created yet. So you will have to create a Pulumi account. Simply log into your uh, Pulumi account using GitHub. Uh, I'm going to log in using GitHub. And uh, you can also do the same with Atlassian, GitLab, or you can simply use your email ID and create an account using email ID. So I'm going to do that. And let's, let's create an account. All right, so the account is created. Let's save the password. And the next thing you want to do is go to your personal access tokens and create an access token. So I'm going to name it as Harry Linode because I want to, um, you know, whenever I come and see this token, I should uh, be able to recall that I created this using uh, yeah, using a Linode. So simply Harry Linode is the name of this access token, which I want to give it. So Harry Linode is the name of the access token. Let's copy this. And once I copy this, uh, I have this Linode access token, sorry, Pulumi access token. Now I should be able to use it. Uh, let's create a new directory called Pulumi so that we can, you know, start working with Pulumi. And I'm going to type Pulumi new so that I can create a new Pulumi. Now it is saying that uh, enter your access token. So let me enter my access token. I'm going to delete this access token later. So it is not going to work for you now. I have a bunch of options for creating uh, some resources. So let me scroll down and I'm, I'm going to choose uh, Linode JavaScript. So KL, KLMN, okay. So Linode JavaScript. So this is a minimal Linode JavaScript Pulumi program. Let me select this. Let me name the project as Harry. And yes, I'm going to choose this. I'm going to name my stack as dev. And it is asking me for a Linode token now. So let me uh, create a Linode token. I'll be uh, coming back to my Linode account and I'll go to API tokens and I'm going to create a new personal access token and I'm going to name it Pulumi. Let's create this token. Let's copy this token. And once I copy this token, I'm going to paste it here, enter. And now this Pulumi is basically being created. Now let's come back to uh, the documentation. As you can see that after several prompts, you'll have to enter your Pulumi access token. We have done that. We have chosen Linode JavaScript. We have chosen the stack name and everything. And finally, you are going to see all these files, which I'm going to show you in a while. So if I enter LS, all these files have been created automatically. This code is able to create resources in my Linode account. How? Because I have given it my Linode access token. It has access to my Linode account. It will use my Linode account and it will create all the resources that have been defined in the code. So infrastructure as code, you are using your code to create an infrastructure and you are going to create some resources using this code. How do you do that? Simply by entering this command, pull me up. So pull me up. And once you type Pulumi up, it is going to say you can view the uh, progress in the browser. You are, going, you are going to preview it here. And once everything is done, it is asking you to create these two resources. So it's basically saying, do you want to create these two resources? If I show you my Linode account, this is the only Linode that I've created. So if I reload this, these are the three Linodes that we have created. Okay, one, two, three. Now, if I say yes, so let me say yes. It is saying, okay, since you have said yes, I'm going to create some more Linodes or whatever has been defined here. So it is going to create an additional Linode. So we are going to wait for it. So we have three Linodes already. If I reload, one more Linode is being provisioned. Why is it being provisioned? Because we have actually asked through Pulumi to create these resources, okay? Why have we, why have these resources been created? Because our code is saying that, hey, create these resources and we have set Pulumi up. So basically this code is capable of creating all these resources. You can customize this code. You can change the stack of this code. You can use Java, you can use Python, you can use Go, whatever you are comfortable with. You can always change it 
So this is how Pulumi works. You can always explore Pulumi by going to the Pulumi docs and you can take your Pulumi learnings from here. I hope that you like this video. And uh, if you reload this page, if I reload this page, I'll see some more resources being provisioned. Whatever is written in the code will be provisioned. And I hope that you learned something new today. So thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.